Good day, folks. I'd like to talk to you about something a little bit off topic, and I promise I'll never um, go off topic again like this. But uh, to be fair, um, the reason I bring it up is because if some of you are familiar with Bedini and watch some of the um, uh, Energy from the Vacuum DVDs, he does mention the Neurophone and some of the inventions and some of the um, quote unquote secret papers he's got. But, anyways, um, he doesn't actually give you much details, they just go through it really quickly. But if any of you don't know what the Neurophone is, this was a device which was invented in the late 1950s. And the fellow that invented this was pretty smart because he figured out that you could transmit basically information in ultrasonic waves and encode, modulate the information send it through transducers, piezo buzzers more or less, and the brain could intercept those frequencies directly bypassing the system of the ears to, to create the, um, the information because the brain can process it directly. Now this was a very interesting device and back then the militaries, if there's actually, it's too bad I don't have it in front of me, but I read a while back, I think it was on archive.org if you want to read into this, but um, of course, the Russians are always the first ones, apparently, to get their hands messy in any kind of controversial, you know, um, borderline, borderland kind of technology, right? So sure enough, as soon as this thing came out, the Russians did experiments with this. And um, very powerful stuff, if it's built right. Uh, reportingly, um, the soldiers they tested this on, uh, let's say they were going to use brain waves, because we all operate with brain waves. Again, if you don't know about the brain waves, I recommend you do a quick Google search. And uh, it's very easy to understand. There's a range, just like the frequency spectrum that the brain operates as. Anything from full wakefulness to complete sleepiness to altered states of awareness. It's all dependent on, you know, the shift of your brain waves frequencies. So with that said, um, the Russians experimented with basically a hypnotic type, you know, sleepiness, trance kind of uh, states, which would be around the 8 hertz range. So if they were able to modulate an 8 hertz tone and bypass the ear and even your consciousness and go right into the brain, what I'm getting at is this technology more or less forcefully forced a kind of PLL synchronization directly into the brain and we were able to use then, believe it or not, technology. So what I'm getting at is a person didn't necessarily need to spend a lifetime learning how to meditate, how to get into a trance or anything like that. They just put, they just trapped the guy into this and after, you know, a few, maybe not a few moments, but hours, they're into a state that they couldn't necessarily easily snap out of. They were like forced into this state. And, of course, the Russians tried to use it for quote-unquote, you know, brainwashing purposes. So, there is a controversy to this technology. So, I warned you right now, uh, before I get into more details of this, um, there comes the saying, with great power comes great responsibility. So, after I explain this to you guys, um, I'm taking in my good faith that you guys won't use this for, you know, the, the bad of mankind, but for good. So, with that said, um, you could look it up today, it's no big secret, the Neurophone, there's actually a few um, quote-unquote rip-off companies that claim to make it and you can buy it today, and unfortunately, when I was much younger, like 16 years old, I fell from one of those quote-unquote scams, and the problem is, these boxes are like $400, and they don't do anything more than this little, maybe 2-watt audio amplifier with transducers, playing the sound direct. Well, folks, if you understand how the neurophone works with ultrasonic frequencies, this isn't it. This is just another glorified version of having headphones, which is good sometimes. You know, there's brainwave entrainment, which left and right, you could simulate that with the transducers on the forehead with a stereo signal. However, it's nothing like the real neurophone, and they label it as and it's very deceptive, and if you look at uh, a lot of the schematics online, they will basically point you on various amplifier circuits, just a basic audio amplifier, and they tell you, here, put a bunch of uh, piezo transducers, and you've got your neurophone. It doesn't work like that, and for some reason, it's the inner workings that 
Uh, not that it's classified, but more on a need-to-know basis. Let's not talk about it because we don't want people to know. So I'm going to bring it to surface of what I know and my experimentations, and I will explain to you how I got to the real neurophone. Now, the reason I'm also interested in this is, again, without getting into uh, too much details here, um, I have an interest in the uh, altered states and the out-of-body experiences, and basically I can't count how many times that I've had them myself, but unfortunately I'm not any kind of guru, I'm not a, a meditative expert, and I don't even touch the New Age you know, scene very much myself, it's just not really my thing, but I don't really want to rob myself of that ability just because, you know, I've got a busy, hectic life, whatever it is, distractions, you know, my mind just, I can't focus that way. So I figured I could use technology to help me, and I have been for years. And uh, some people sometimes wonder, you know, well, where do you come up with this stuff? So there you go, without getting into too, too much of the great details, because like I said, I don't want to flood my channel with this material because that's not my focus. I'm into energy generators and whatnot. But again, Bedini mentioned it, and it's a sideline of mine, and I thought maybe others would like, like it. So, basically, it sounds complicated, right? Ultrasound waves and whatnot, and maybe 20, 30 years ago, it would be difficult to build such an authentic system. But today, folks, we could use nothing but your sound card. So you'll need a computer, a real computer, unfortunately, because we need to take advantage of the 24 bits, 192 kilohertz sample rate of the sound card, so we could take advantage of the ultrasonic features of the sound card. Again, something that people don't usually do, but because we have the technology now, and basically it's been a few years now that even the most uh, introductionary computer, basic computer, will have 24-bit audio. So with that said, I, I reason, hey, I could use the right channel of the sound card to create my ultrasonic carrier and modulate it with the left channel. Pretty simple, right? And use a transformer. Well, you know, at first I figured, you know, I was going to do basically the AM way and use two separate neurophones and modulate it, but then it got really complicated and I was trying to emulate, you know, the features of brainwave entrainment where on the left channel you have one frequency and on the right channel you have another frequency and it's that difference that would entrain the brain to that frequency. But because now we're using modulations and ultrasonics, it changes the game a little bit and we could take some shortcuts and that's where I figured, ah, FM would come into handy. So let me explain to you how we would do this different. So without getting into the great details here, to achieve, you know, what I'm looking after for the out-of-body experiences would be in this range here. So we use a simple sound card, like I said. So I calculated a carrier of 40 kilohertz, that's the right channel, and a modulation of 8 hertz, that's the left channel. So what we're using is basically a modulation transformer or any simple AC that you can get from around the house. For example, one just like this, folks, just an AC transformer, primary and secondary. And we're going to use FM because what's going to happen is it's, it's easier with FM because we don't have to do the whole audio thing, you know. So we use the R channel into the primary side and the piezo on the secondary side. Now the left channel, which is our modulation, plus goes into the plus of the piezo, and the piezo negative goes to the sound card negative. So we're wiring the transformer in a way that it couples. So we're doing frequency modulation, and because of this, we don't need the two frequencies that we normally have that we would hear a tone that we can consciously hear. This will actually bypass the consciousness and get to the brain directly with this tone using FM and ultrasonics. So with that said, you can do it easily with your sound card and as far as transducers, it's really nothing complicated. Here's my set right here. I've got a ribbon to go around the head here. I'm not going to wear it because it looks silly, but here are the transducers. It's just a mono set up. They're, they're chained. They're bridged. And there's your piezo. This goes on the forehead and goes into the output right here. I made a connector to make it easier to snap in and out of my device, but that's what I've been using for years, essentially. 
So it's really, well, years. Since we had 192 kilohertz, 24 bit. Yeah, I guess years, right? Because we had, that started off in Windows XP days. That's about the time I started experimenting with this. So here it is again, the real neural phone. You can do it for real with just your sound card. You could actually use an ultrasonic wave and do it exactly like it was done in the late, um, well, in the late 50s, basically. And uh, with the technology, it doesn't have to be a bunch of stuff, you know, very easy. But again, I warn you folks, uh, this will um, bypass the conscious mind and um, entrain the mind. And um, this could be a good thing or a bad thing, right? So don't use it for bad purposes, you know. Don't, don't make your friend listen to this thing and instead of a... Um, a um... So what I'm getting at here is... I'm using it for brain waves, but you could use the modulation for sublisional messages as well. So this is where it comes pretty powerful. You have no clue what you're being fed consciously, and your brain can decode the information. So anyways, if, basically if you don't want to take my word for it, look it up online, Neurophone. It's just, unfortunately, they don't tell you the inner details on how you can simply really build one that actually works and is very powerful. So with that said, again, I hope you enjoy, and I promise I won't bother you guys with anything uh, slightly off topic again. I just thought this was interesting, and I'd share. And have yourselves a wonderful day.